Hello, let's take a look at some concentration examples. You have a question that asks, in what proportion should a 25% zinc oxide ointment be mixed with white petrolatum to produce a 5% zinc oxide ointment? Step one, you want to set up the allegation grid. You want to put the percentage of the higher strength in the top left, the percentage of the lower strength in the bottom left, and you want to put the percentage of the desired in the middle. You want to insert the information in the corresponding parts. Like I said previously, the higher strength would be on the top. The lower strength would be on the bottom. You have white petrolatum, which is 0%. It contains zero drugs. And you want to make a 5%. That would be right in the middle. Subtract the higher and lower strength from the desired strength. So that would be 25 minus 5% would get you 20 parts. And then you want to do 0 minus 5. Again, these answers are in absolute. So 0 minus 5% would be negative 5, but you want to put 5 parts. So you want to then add these parts together. You have a total of 25 parts, which consists of 5 parts of 25% zinc oxide and 20 parts of white petrolatum. You want to reduce the parts of each strength. 5 parts of 25% zinc oxide can be reduced to one part, and 20 parts of 0% can be reduced to four parts. So your answer would be one to four. One part of the 25% to four parts of the 0%. Let's take a look at example two. If an antibiotic injection contains 8% weight by volume of the drug, how many milliliters of diluent should be added to six ml of the injection to prepare a concentration of 5 milligrams of the antibiotic per milliliter. Step 1, you want to convert milligrams of antibiotic per milliliter to a percentage concentration. So it gave you 5 milligrams per 1 ml. To get the percentage, you want to find out how many grams will be in 100 milliliters. So when you cross multiply, you get 500 milligrams, and that can be converted to 0 0.5 grams, which can also be expressed as 0 0.5 grams over 100 milliliters. That would give you 0.5% weight by volume. The reason we went to percentage is so that we can set up the concentrations equation, which is C1 times V1 plus C2 times V2 equals C3 times V3. Insert the corresponding values into the equation. So you have 8% weight by volume, and they said there was 6 milliliters of injection, and you have 0%. Dilute has 0% drugs in it, so you don't know how many amount of diluent you have. However, the percentage is 0, so no matter what happens, this will, when you multiply this part, it will always be 0. So you have 8% times 6 milliliters this cancels out, equals 0.5% times x. This x will be 96 milliliters total. So this will be the total concentration, the total volume of the, the diluent and the drug. Then you want to subtract the volume of the drug from the total volume. So you have 96 milliliters total minus 6 milliliters of drug injection and you get 90 milliliters of diluent. It's also important to note that you can do the allegation method for this equation. However, doing this concentration of the C1 times V1 plus C2 times V2 equals a C3 times V3 would be much more time efficient. Thank you.